Hello and welcome to my first video. Uh, this is a uh, tutorial on how to convert a Mustang Mass Air harness to a standalone uh, upgraded harness harness that you would get uh, for doing a fuel injection conversion on a small block Ford. Uh, my specialty would be the Mustang harnesses, not so much the Explorer harnesses. And again, for the five liters versus the um, 351s uh, Windsors, I'm sure that these are these tips that I'm going to show you are applicable in a lot of these cases. But I wanted to uh, other cases, but I'm going to focus mainly on the Mustang harness uh, with the five liter engine, okay? Um, and uh, and the Mass Air version. I do have some speed density experience as well. Um, not a lot of differences between the speed density and the uh, and the mass air harnesses that you'd find, but they definitely are Mustang variants. Uh, this harness that I have here is a completed harness. I know it looks messy, but I'll show you uh, some of the things that we did here. We, me, I did um, over the last uh, several nights in the garage. And this should be getting ready to go into an old Bronco in the next, uh, next couple of weeks. Um, Again, this is to be used with the Mustang computer, uh, with the Mustang injectors, and the Mustang throttle body, uh, just to be consistent. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. Um, this is a uh, this is your basic 60-pin connector. As you'd see, I removed some of the wires. I removed all the uh, emissions. Um, I did leave the EGR in place, um, but I have removed those in the past with the resistors uh, to defeat the uh, the light. Uh, the check engine light that would come on when it. This is the last piece for the O2 sensor. Uh, I'll be wiring that in uh, when I get the the pigtails from eBay. Um, but I have new new pigtails for that. But basically, what you have is you have the harness. I essentially ripped everything, um, all the tape and harness um, wrap off of everything. I uh, tied it together to hold it with these wire ties. That's why it looks so obtrusive because it has these large wire ties. I didn't cut them back. And I'm gonna probably end up taking them off um, when we install this in the truck. Um, there, there is some customization lengths and stuff that will probably be corrected. Everything's kind of long, but um, for the most part, the, the general gist of the harness is, is it's shaped the way it's gonna look when it's in the vehicle. Okay, so let's just take a look at some of the things that I did and um, in the subsequent videos, I have another harness here that's just getting started on. I'm getting started on. So, I can do it without hurting myself. Um, this harness here, uh, as you see, is just it's still wrapped up. I'm going to start taking this apart and I'm going to go through other videos each night with that. And I'm going to work on that one and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So, this again is for the, the person who wants to do an EFI conversion with a Mustang um, harness and computer and they don't want to pay the uh, $600 for the RGM version or whatever, Ron Francis or whoever has that uh, version online. They can just need a little bit of know-how or a little guidance to get these done. It's not hard. It takes a little practice, but it's not, uh, it's not impossible. It takes patience too and you got to just kind of keep rereading your instructions. Okay, so one other thing I do want to show you about this harness is I, I wired in this box. It's about 110 bucks on eBay. Um, this box, there's another one over here. This box offers um, six relayed circuits, um, six fused circuits. I took a fuse out, I was testing it. Six fused circuits as well. Um, this, this makes a lot nicer or cleaner of an install. Um, if you read a lot of the uh, other installs, you get like a block of relays, uh, the four relays that you add uh, to the um, to the actual harness to make it a little more reliable and more universal. Um, but I'm not. I, I'm using this box to to support that instead of having four floating relays. So you can do either way. But I will cover how to wire this in. Um, a couple other little things to note. You, know, you get some heavy gauge wire. I have to get some connectors for that to wire that to the battery um, and some things like that. So again, it's it's done. I uh, oh yeah, one other thing I want to point out is I did eliminate the uh, the salt and pepper shaker um, connectors. They're the large black and white connectors that you see that connect the engine the engine harness 
to the main harness. I did eliminate those. I think they're problematic. Um, my goal is to make these as consistent and as reliable as possible. Um, I've been doing these pro bono for friends, uh, so I've gotten a lot of practice with them. Um, but again, I want to share my knowledge. I am a teacher by trade, so I'm not one to be a, a knowledge hog. So um, that's the, that's what we're going to end up with. Okay, as you can see it, it's a, it's a harness. Um, I'm going to make another video and post it, and it's going to be my workbench, what the tools I have. I don't have a whole lot, um, nothing outrageously expensive, but some things you might want to consider getting to make your life a lot easier when you're working on one of these. Okay, so that's all for now.